Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Fun Land. Last we left off, we were in this castle, which appears to be one long hallway in a boss room. And we are about to attempt to clear this jump, so let's start. Let's see. I think I should wait until it is up all the way. Oh, I almost made it there. There we go, and it is one long hallway. And we face the Reznor. Ow. No. Oh, I will not die by fire. Which is about the only thing you can die up here. Die already. Now I'm going to go over here because I feel like it. And I usually don't. Hooray for inconsistency. And there's not going to be any message after that. Um, okay then. Well, we reached the Star Road. But before we go there, I would like to investigate something in the Red Switch. Something I didn't really look at before. Now, obviously we pressed the switch. Oh, never mind, we can enter the level. Anyways, I'm going to resume recording once I get to the point of interest, which I think may have a secret. See you guys soon. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, kind of close to it. Anyways, Mario Rampage 56 told me how he intended for me to get across here, and I'll show you. Ah, uh, darn it, that was a failure. There, I'm supposed to step on the P-switch and then move on. Anyways, last time over here, I went over here and there were coins that I fell in. <clears throat> I'm sorry. There are coins that I fell into, but because it's a P-switch... Grr, Mario. Because it's a P-switch, it'll turn back into blocks. So I'm going to see if there's a path over here. Yes. There might be stuff over here. Let's see. Um. Looks like it's a death pit. Unless they missed something up there. Hold on. I'm getting all these ears out of the way. Glitchiness. Okay, there's nothing over here but cut off. So let's see if the star warp takes us anywhere. Oh, hey, it does. It's all hard. Oh, great. This is probably the Kaizo level he was talking about. Well, let's see. Oh, gosh. This is. We are definitely screwed. Okay. Well, at least it's pretty much complete slowdown right there. So I am able to make it across rather simply. This looks like another jump at the P switch. Unless I... No, I need to grab it. That's what I need to do. And what the heck is that glitchy thing? Is that like the goal or something? Okay, this will call for an alternate save state. Just because I feel like it. Okay, that's a block. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of save stating here. Grr. Darn. This isn't Bowser's Ruins, Kaizo, but this is still dang hard. And that thwomp is evil. Since I can't spin jump on its corner for no apparent reason. Oh, I see the thwomp. Okay, I have made it across. Oh, great, one of these. Shoot, I needed that. Come on, come on. Ah! Well, dang! It's easier because of all the slowdown, but sheesh, this is insane. Okay, looks like I need to push the silver pea before the blue pea before eating some strudel. Which I have recently ate. Um. Oh, I can't get in there big. No fair. That is not fair at all. And hooray, another mushroom! Let's go, let's go, come on. No, 
Mario, you must eat the mushroom to gain your power back. Come on, Mario. Actually, no, I should just press this right now. Haha, -ha, silver coins. Always quite useful. And I passed through those blocks, or coins, or whatever. Haha, -ha, run away in my power. I has mushroom. Oh gosh, what the crap? Okay, I guess I kind of have to get hurt here. Yes, running. Oh, I have to race it? Oh, there. I need to jump at the very edge of it then? Okay, I need to do this faster. That's what I need to do. Gosh, I did it before. Okay, there we go. Wow. That was rather simple. Ah! The power of the switch you have pushed will turn garbage into more garbage. Yay. Because garbage is what the world always needs. Let's give it to everyone! Yay! And... I think that was it. Well, gee. Looks like we have finished Super Fun Land. There's absolutely nothing. I guess. I could have sworn to be a level in that Bowser head. I've already been told there's no real secrets in the Tumble Down Fortress. Maybe this hack is a demo by chance? I'm pretty sure, especially since there's no secret exit over here. That would probably lead to something. So yeah, we have enough time for a review. Well, this hack, it's, it's actually better than some of the hacks I've played in a while. Levels were pretty fun and original. I liked how they used, used custom music. The switches are rather fun. And the thing is, as it got harder towards the end, it was actually much more fun then, even though, you know, you'd think initially that the harder levels would be more annoying. They're actually much more fun. Like starting with the red switch maze and then going to the tumble down fortress. That was all fun. The underground fort was really fun too. And that last Kaizo level, that, that was, despite being Kaizo, incredibly fun. That was, in my opinion, that's the best level that there was. So yeah, this is a very solid hack for being a demo. And I would recommend it to anyone looking for yet another ROM hack to play. Very good job, Mario Rampage 56. Anyways, this LP has gotten four episodes, so there will be an ending montage. And uh, after this, obviously we have more Bowser's Ruins, which I dread a whole bunch. And then, along with that, I will be doing... Another non-hack LP. I haven't done one of those in a while. We are going to be doing one of my childhood favorites, Pitfall the Mine Adventure for the Super Nintendo. Well, the Super Nintendo version anyways. There's a few other versions, but I think the Super Nintendo version is the best out of all. I'll explain there, and I will see you guys next time.